a team of Bahraini experts went to Beirut with ample supplies of emergency medicines, first aid materials and respiratory ventilators, to expedite Kingdom's relief operations and support victims of the devastating blast. Dr. Mustafa Al-Sayed, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation RHF, Secretary General, who is with the relief team, before departure morning that they are looking forward to delivering the aid to pain-stricken people as soon as possible. As of today there are 2,872 positive cases of COVID-19 in Bahrain, out of which 2,832 are stable. 40 are in critical condition while 159 deaths have been registered. A total of 40,276 cases have been treated and discharged. The total numbers of people tested for COVID-19 are 886,095, stated the health ministry. U.S. President Donald Trump has unveiled sweeping bans on U.S. transactions with the Chinese owners of messaging app WeChat and video sharing app TikTok, escalating a high-stakes confrontation with Beijing over the future of the global tech industry. The executive orders announced Thursday and effective in 45 days come after the Trump administration this week flagged increased effort to purge untrusted Chinese apps from U.S. digital networks, calling Tencent Holdings Limited's WeChat and ByteDance's popular TikTok significant threats. A pilot and 17 passengers were killed, and over 100 passengers were injured when an Air India Express flight carrying 191 passengers from Dubai skidded off the runway, plunging nose down into a gorge, splitting into two, while landing at Kalakut International Airport, Kerala, amidst heavy rain. Oil ministers of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Kuwait, Oman and Iraq reaffirmed their full commitment to the OPEC Plus agreement. The minister, during a teleconference call, emphasized the importance of all OPEC plus countries in meeting their production targets to accelerate the rebalancing of the oil market.